welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining me here live once again this week on the Royal Sit Down. I am your host, Zyla Royals. And today on the Royal Topic, we are talking about using spells um, that will incorporate blood and underwear. I figured that that would be a good topic for tonight because um, a lot of my, um, a lot of the women in my group, they want to know about menstrual and, and um, how to use a man's underwear to capture them. So that's what this show is going to be dedicated to tonight. Right. So first off, um, when you're going to use a, you know, a spell using your blood and underwear, blood or underwear, you are binding yourself to this particular person so be careful and be mindful that you know that's the person you you really want to be with you know you don't want to just go around all willy-nilly you know uh, taking all these men underwear all these different men underwear and uh so all of them could be under your spell because now you're gonna have a problem so you be careful about using blood to get men or underwear to get men. But I'm going to go ahead and spill the tea tonight. Now, the old-fashioned way, the old-fashioned way to put root on the man is to feed him spaghettis. Every woman in the South knows that. And yet, that is 100% true. That is is true so what you do is you cook your man some spaghetti and you place the um, blood your menstrual if you don't have menstrual you're going to use um, your vagina fluids and vice versa for men too if you know men don't have periods so they have semen so but anyway it works best with uh, menstrual blood so you place your menstrual blood inside of your man's spaghetti, like in his plate, not in the whole dish, ladies. Please, we do not want to be eating your menstrual blood. So you put it in his. If you have to save your menstrual blood by freezing it, that's fine. Even if, I mean, I hope you wouldn't give him clumpy menstrual blood but that works just as well and a lot of people may be like ew why would you oh my god that's so nasty well honey this is not the show for you you are in the wrong podcast because all the ladies here know that this is how we get down okay I mean I ain't trying to be messy I ain't trying to be petty I'm just saying (laughs) So, once you feed it to him, beware of immediate changes. Some men, it will take effect on them immediately. And I'm telling you guys, you have been warned. You have truly been warned. Once you give this man your menstrual blood, he is going to hound you. There's no stopping him from thinking that he owns you. There's nothing stopping him from thinking that he controls you. There's nothing stopping him from having a fatal attraction and snapping your neck during an argument. Nothing is going to stop him. But if this is the way you want to go, when you try to leave, it's going to be hell to pay the piper. Believe me. Believe me. So anyway, once you give it to him, he's going to hound you. He's going to smell you from afar. He's going to want your scent. Now, this ain't going to stop him from cheating on you. I kid you not. Because nothing to stop a man from cheating on you unless you tie his manhood. But. This will definitely keep him with you. I mean, with you. 
He can be a little dog out there in the streets, but he's going to come home to you. He's going to give you the babies, the headaches, the problems. You know what I mean? So, you know, be aware of who you're trying to capture because everybody ain't worth it. So, you know, don't think that, well, just because, you know, um, somebody... Okay, how can I say this? You know, people think that, well, just because you know how to do this type of stuff that you're going to do it on them. And that's really not the case because you can't just waste your energy on anybody. You can't just give your time and your effort to anybody because you don't want anybody and everybody to cling to you like that. You know? So, ladies, I cannot stress to you enough that you need to really be careful when you want to give your menstrual blood to these men. Because a lot of you ladies are really interested in giving these men your menstrual blood. And then you turn around and going to regret it. I regret it. I'm telling you. But ladies, if you don't make spaghettis, you have tea. You could put it in his tea. You could put it in his red juice. Take your tampon and just swig it around in his juice. I mean, there it is. And it's like it's the instant you're on your cycle. He's going to be a dog in heat. So if you want a man to like latch onto you like that, then be my guest. Feed him. <laughs> Honestly, half of you ladies will see what I'm talking about. And then, you know, half of you ladies don't even have to do that to a man to even know what I'm talking about. The men will be hounding the fuck out of you, bitch. <laughs> but honestly, that's the real God on his truth. And they'll think they own you. They'll think they own you. They'll think that you're theirs. Yes. So make sure he ain't crazy. But because if he is, you're going to, you're going to up the crazy. You're going to put fire to the crazy. Now he, now it's a piece of pussy involved. Just imagine a dog that is in heat. And well, yeah, a dog in heat. Trying to get out, like, y'all know if y'all don't have, your, like, your animals neutered or spaded or so however you say it. You know how it go. They go crazy. And that's how it would be with him, so seriously. No matter if he messing around with other women. No matter if he messing around with other people. It wouldn't even really matter at that point. Because all it, cause at the end of the day, he's going to want to be with you. He's going to come back to you. It's going to be you, you, all about you. And if you try to leave... He might kill you. He might stalk you. He might harass you. He might follow you home. You know what I'm saying? So you never really know what you're getting yourself into when you tap into that type of energy. Because it'll be hard to get that person off of you. It'll be hard to get them off. Now. Another thing you can do with um, with is um, the underwear. You could use your um, his underwear and bury them. That's a classic. That's a classic. Take those underwear, his dirty underwear, preferably underwear that you guys use to have sex. Like say, for instance, he uh, just had sex with you and he puts his underwear back on. Make sure you get those underwear. And ladies, if you want to be the one that's in control, don't nut. Let him nut. So that you can be in control. Because if you get mixed up in that, then now, now you're all mixed up. Your feelings are all mixed up. Your head over heels. You always want to be the one that's in control. So you don't want to get mixed up. So... Using underwear, you could cut his underwear up and put it into and stuff it in something like a bear 
like you can make different things like um say for instance if you had a stuffed animal i i would put his picture in there cut up his underwear put my you know maybe put some blood in there too you know put some herbs sew it back up you know put a spell in the bear work it like that you know use your imagination be creative you know, this is 2018. We are the we are the modern ancestors. We we have the option to be creative. We could do whatever we want to do now with our work. We could take our work to new levels. Take this beyond. Do whatever it is you want to do with your man's underwear. The classic thing to do is bury them in the backyard. He'll always come back home. Always come back home. Even if you try to unbury them, it, it wouldn't even work because you got to be very careful about that. Because you have to unbury them on the same day at the same time that you bury them. So, hey, you be careful about the men that you choose to snatch up and be with. Because if he's a cheater, he always going to be, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing going to change that, is it? He'll just be your little dog. And you'll just have to deal with whatever it is that happened. The arguments get bad, though. Ooh, the arguments get bad. I done heard stories about sugars being put in tanks behind this you try to leave him he's gonna go crazy he gonna level up level up seriously it's going down so just beware about you know uh doing these binding rituals using blood and underwear you could put your blood in a jar you can use you could put blood in in jars you can put them in any ritual you want. You can use underwear with any ritual you want to. But when you incorporate these two ingredients, you are asking for a lot. It seems like you're almost asking for trouble. Because any moment that you give this man your blood, he is going to be your headache. If he's not a good man, then you don't, I'm just saying, it's like, if you got you a good man, then by all means, do whatever it is you want to do. But if you got you a man who already cheating, this ain't the ritual to do. I'm going to be honest with you. This is not the ritual, sis. The underwear, yeah. You might get away with the underwear, but you bet not do that blood. Because that's a headache. Well, you know, that's just in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? But these are of the consequences for doing these things. Okay? You know what? I love you guys. And um, this is going to conclude the end of our show at the Royal Sit Down. I just love talking to y'all. And if you love this show, join me here every Friday at 8.30 p.m. to join in and discuss the topics. I love you guys. Peace out. Thank you.